Okay, welcome to part two of the power upgrade for the Park Zone BF109. Uh, the subject of our modification is the Park Zone BF109. Um, this is the model that I'm uh, also modifying uh, with uh, retracts and flaps and so forth. Uh, you've seen some videos of that. We still have yet to finish the retract videos, uh, but uh, we're going to get uh, on with the power modification right now. Okay, so. First thing we need to do is get the nose off this guy and uh, I haven't done this before and I have never taken one of these apart before so uh, we're doing this real time here for you guys and uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, just get these screws out and uh, I hope they haven't put any glue on this piece here or we're going to be prying. That's what the flat bladed screwdriver was for and try and not make it look like a complete hack job. Oh look at that, they have too. Eh? They've done something on here. There we go. Okay, there's that piece off. Now you can look inside of here and you can see the you're probably not going to get to see me in there with the screwdriver, but uh, you get the gist of it. Whew. Let's talk about something that looks like it might be a bit difficult. Okay, there's one screw. Oh, look at that. It's the exact same screws they use on the Corsair. Isn't that nice? Now, the Park Zone BF109 uh, uses the 15BL motor, which is equivalent to a 15 size nitro engine. And uh, what we're going to be putting on here is uh, something closer to the equivalent of a 25 to a 35 size nitro engine. The uh, Park Zone engine uh, I believe is 870 kV. Um, now some people get confused by that. Uh, 870 kV uh, I believe uh, means uh, 870 revolutions for, per minute or uh, basically the RPM capabilities of the motor. Uh, the uh, motor that we're going to be using here um, the Turnigy 3536 is a 1300 kV engine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Okay, that's not going to come down out of there. That's that way. Whew. We're going to have ourselves some fun putting this together, boys and girls. First, we'll get the speed control down out of here and unplug these wires. Okay, so there's our 1500 kV motor. And our Eternity 3635, or 3536 rather. And uh, they're uh, pretty close to being the same length, if you notice. Uh, even when the bottoms are level, uh, the snouts of the motor collars are right about even. So we'll just put that one off to the side. This speed control needs to come out of here. And the new speed control needs to go in. Now we're using, again, the Mystery 40 amp speed control here. So I'm going to slip that down in and uh, see what I can do about getting those wires to come through where they need to come through because like I said boys and girls this here is not going to be easy. Aha! Well, could sit here for an hour trying to figure this out. Okay, we're going to end this video and we're going to have part three after I get this thing in here. Thanks for taking a look and uh, get ready for part three.